One of Aristotle's greatest philosophical moves is also one of his simplest. Aristotle was faced with this question. How does our perception of the world give us truth rather than just embedding us in the whirlwind of causal changes that define those things that we perceive? It might seem that we're stuck in Heraclitus' world where you can't step into the same river twice, in part because the river is changing, but also because you're changing just like the river. There looks to be no point of rest in which we perceive the motion without ourselves being set into motion. Aristotle addresses this problem by making an apparently simple but absolutely profound distinction. Aristotle distinguishes between motion, the Greek word is kinesis, where we get the word kinetic, and what he calls energeia, where we get the word energy. Our perceptual and cognitive capacities, in a certain sense, are moved. They're kinetic when we come in contact with the world and try to perceive it or to understand it. But, Aristotle wants to say, it is not purely being moved by the world. We also are, so to speak, at rest within that motion of perception or cognition. We are at rest by being put into the state that he would call energeia, that is, actualization. We are made activated in our perceptual and our cognitive capacity as we come in contact with the objects of the world. So, Aristotle answers the problem that we are inserted into a moving world that's in flux rather than a static world with which Aristotle agrees. He answers the, the claim that therefore our perceptions are as un, unstable as the things of the world by suggesting that the world actualizes our ability to perceive it exactly through its motion. In a certain sense, as Aristotle would say, we are moved by the world. But in another sense, we stay at rest because the activation of our perceptions is a type of motion that allows us an access to what's really happening rather than simply being swept along in the current of change, as Heraclitus made it seem.